Bora TV. The world is thinking. The next one, this is a gigantic one. This, this is the biggest thing that we, we ever built. This is a water slide simulator, computer controlled actual water slide. Um, fully autonomous that you, uh, the person would sit in, you can see the upper left corner, you sit in this do um, inflatable donut thing inside of this gigantic 30 foot donut and there was water in the bottom and you would go through, you'd kind of spin and then there'd be a computer controlled, hydraulic controlled course that you'd go through and uh, It all came out crazy. of the idea for a water slide that would never end because water slides yeah. are pretty short. So, you know, the idea was just to have this spinning wheel that you would sit in and, uh, you know, to, uh, go, go through these pre-programmed pre motions, but then we eventually decide, well, you could just sort of construct your own water slide and run this thing, you know, you could have a, a 3,600 foot water slide, which is what we actually ended up uh, <laughs> simulating for the, for the show. And this was a, a, another really scary build for us because it was so big, um, and, you know, Joe and I are electronics guys, and we try to avoid getting water in our stuff, and this one, <laughs> we were putting water in on purpose. <laughs> Yeah, th this one, um, so this was something that I think on the show they said they have two weeks to build it, and it took us five weeks, and I think three or four of those weeks was just welding. We had that whole group of people, lo the Flaming Lotus Girls, and lots of people come in um, from the Bay Area to just weld day after day after day after day to put this thing together. It was unbelievable. Uh, I think we have maybe some pictures, but this is the, the control. Uh, this is kind of the projection. We had a projector that was projecting down in front of you, and you actually did feel like you were going. This was, this was actually my favorite thing that we ever built because it was so fun to ride. <laughs> yeah, this was cool. <laughs> so on the left, this is what the person sitting in it sees in front of them, projected. So that's the virtual slide. And on the right, that's what the slide would look like if you really built it. So it's, um, I think, um, <laughs> as tall as the towers on the Golden Gate Bridge and um, 3,600 feet, feet long. Um, there's so much uh, simulation now that goes on in manufacturing. So the Splashtacular, the company that gave us the water slide stuff, um, runs this NASA simulation software on all the water slides to make sure that someone can't uh, go around a corner too fast and fly out of the slide and stuff. <laughs> so they ran their simulation on this slide. It ran for a month and then crashed. <laughs> so we never got all the physics data we wanted from it, and we just had to use the camera fly through instead to generate all the control signals that would control the, uh, axi the, the um, motion axes of the slide. And luckily, we did not fly out of the, the tube, <laughs> though it felt like we were going to. Uh, so let's see. Um, we have some pictures of the, yeah, lots of metal. Yeah, so this, again, uh, this is really scary because I'm used to working on robots and robots break all the time, you know, so you don't have to worry about robots taking over the world because if no one's there to maintain them, they're all going to break. <laughs> but this was my first time working on something that could not only break, but was strong enough to completely tear itself apart and destroy the building and kill all of us. Yeah, it could roll down the, like when we were riding it, it would, it would make these weird creaks and like the welds would be cracking and, and the, the, once the film, once the camera crew got their stuff, they're like, okay, done. And then we would keep riding it, but I think that was probably not very smart. Well, I, I was surprised really by, by how how much uh, the, the fear left us after it started working. You know, the first yeah. few times we're like, is it gonna collapse, you know? But then by the end of the day, we felt like carnival barkers, you know, roll up, <laughs> anyone get on the slide, ride, ride the fabulous water slide simulator. Yeah, it was cool. And now let's see if I, uh, um, okay, so here's another view. Yeah, there's the water slide actually moving on the right. And it was, it was really big. So the sad thing about this whole thing, I know you're all wondering, where is the water slide, right? It's been recycled, chopped up and recycled. Um, it couldn't, we couldn't get it out of the building, and we were trying to sell it to the company that gave us the water slide material, and they didn't want it. And that, then the producers, this is kind of te the, the television mindset of, well, we don't need it anymore, let's just get rid of it. So you know, we were all trying to figure out a way to do something. Like, it would be awesome to have it at Maker Faire, um, yeah. but it's gone. So we could yeah. always build another one, though. I think all the plans are out somewhere. I <laughs> 